What's going on, Whiskey Chaser fam? Welcome back to the Whiskey Chaser channel. My name is Chase. We are once again joined by Parker. We are on our way down to Brooklyn, kind of late in the day, a little bit darker than what a normal video would be, but it's still fun, right? I'm having fun. Good. Gonna head down to the Sportsman Speed Club, hang out with Chris. In case you are unaware, the Sportsman Speed Club is a co-op club. It's a mechanic shop. They got all kinds of cool stuff there. They work on cars, they work on bikes. They got a forge, pretty much anything you want. It's awesome. And a full bar. That's why we're going. Still a little cold out, not too cold. About 40 something degrees. Got the uh, flannel lined pants on and the Harley weatherproof jacket. Makes it real nice. And just like I said in the last video, these bikes love this colder weather. The just above freezing temperatures, I think is like the ideal area for, for a carbureted bike. You get plenty of cool air that make it sound good, feel good, got good power, but it's not so cold that the metal in the actual engine itself can't warm up. It makes it feel nice. It makes it feel real nice. It's like, hey man, I work for my Harley. My Harley better work for me. Well, not just the Harley. Any carbureted bike for sure. I'm on a Yamaha, yeah. damn it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure that brand new carburetor on that Yamaha is feeling real good right about now. Yeah, dude. Shout out to uh, Chris at Cycle Therapy. Cycle Therapy NYC. Oh, look, Express Bros. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this video is, is spiraling down. I'm a goddamn national treasure. It's like a helicopter that just lost its tail, just spinning round and round, falling faster and faster. <laughs> The weirdest thing I've ever seen still by far has to be that naked guy. Just a white t-shirt and what looked like off-brand chocolate. Well, what's funny is you would think about something like that and be like, oh, well, that's New York for you. But I mean, that should happen in Austin too. You know what? What really got me about the whole thing? The fact that he wasn't wearing pants or underwear. It was the fact that he was wearing socks with sandals. Yeah, number one taboo. That did happen a lot. Austin, Naked people? Yeah. One time, my friend came to Austin for her birthday, and we went out onto 6th Street. She was like, I feel like I'm too overdressed. I feel like I'm, like, you know, I, I'm wearing a dress, and I feel like I just look too too formal. And I was like, girl, I can tell you one thing. On 6th Street, you can never be too overdressed or underdressed. Literally, as I said that, three dudes walked past us in, like, full tuxedos, like James Bond tuxedos. And I was like, see, they're real dressed up. And then not 30 seconds later, a dude wearing a baby diaper and a pacifier walk past us <laughs> and I was like you see there you go you can never be too overdressed or underdressed for Austin Texas it is a crazy city that is for damn sure oh man that's hilarious Austin Texas where people party like it's their birthday every day I seen it uh where are we going straight on the bridge on the bridge Do -do 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 -do. On the <laughs> how in the world am I in fifth gear and like actually going right now this is awesome I'm at 45 miles an hour yeah bitch yeah Whoa, dog. Relax. <laughs> no! I have no chill. Oh, that's why it feels so awkward. My visor was up. <laughs> Where are you guys? On the way. <laughs> My stomach just growled. Now I have the hungries. Is that why you're screaming at the top of your lungs about going 45 miles an hour? Fuck yeah! <laughs> All right, made it to the Sportsman Speed Club. Hey! We got Chris back there. We got Caesar over here. We're going to be doing a shot. Cheers! 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 Bye bye. Yeah, I'm not going to go that hard right now. I'm oh, still feeling it. Hi. That was brutal. Oh, that's so, cool. I was just drinking. Last time, last time I was here, I didn't really get a whole thing, so I wanted to talk about the garage. I am sorry for all the single ladies. So, we got the bar here, full bar, beer in the back, got the whiskey, got the beer heads. Bison? A little bison? <laughs> bison? It's a water buffalo. It's a water buffalo. Water buffalo. This over here is the cheaper parking. So you can come park your bike here. You can do light work. They allow you to like do some basic hand tool type stuff, but you don't have access to like the lifts or anything. This is 24 hour access. You get access to this door right here. You can come in, you can do anything you need to with your bike. They got cameras, so everything's all looked after, everything like that. You have the full access over here. Work on your car. This is that Le Mans that was here last time. Looks so cool. They got a lot going on right now. 
now because there's a lot of people who are storing their bikes. And then you have access to all of the tools. You have access to the lift. This is the bolt, Chris's bolt, the one I was talking about. Super cool in my opinion. They have a welding station over here. Normally there isn't this many bikes as long as it's not winter time. And then back there they have their grinding station. They have their drill press. There's a forge back there somewhere, I think, something like that. And then you get storage whenever you become a member. You can put your stuff up anywhere. You have your name, stuff that you can use. We got brake fluid and oil out of there last time we were here. So I actually, I put some uh, fork oil in there last time I was here. That is Sportsman Speed Club. Place looks sick. So yeah, if you are in New York area, you need a place to store your bike. Just a good, awesome, cool place to hang out. Come on down to Sportsman Speed Club, man. So Chris is going to let me take his bolt out. And I've never ridden a bolt. <laughs> this is such a different seating position. It's a good thing he didn't park all the way in the very back. You got this thing set up like a sport bike. All right, never ridden a bolt before, but we're going to figure this out, right? Dude, he's got this thing set up like a freaking sport bike. Like you're leaned all the way over. These handlebars are so far forward and this saddleman seat is so far back with these mid controls in here. Like, so weird. I'll tell you what though, this thing sounds good. <laughs> Interesting. I do like the shifter though, it's very solid. This exhaust sounds great too. Probably like not the most amazing time to go try and ride. But you know what? That's okay. We'll try uh, turning up here. Woo! See if we can get a little bit of a, a little bit of a straightaway. I just want to get up into at least third gear. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe, I can't get over the seating position. Like, it just seems like these need to come back a little bit more and a little bit higher. If they were a little bit higher, if they were like right here, here, it would be amazing. Just need to get some higher risers up on that. He's got plenty of slack in there. Woohoo! 
This thing's got some Yuta. Dang, dude. This thing's got some, some good power. <laughs> it's a good thing he's got the sports or the saddleman seat on there because it kind of like hooks you in. And if it didn't, I don't know, man. I would have probably flew off the back of this thing. Well, now I can say I ridden a bolt. You know, I really don't know what's going to happen with another bike, a second one, what kind of bike we're going to get, but I hope that one day, eventually, no matter what happens, we get to build one of these. This seems like a really cool machine. Damn, this thing is loud. I'm not sure if those pops are good or bad, but they sound cool. <laughs> I think I could get used to something like this. It definitely would have to be built out a little bit better for my taste. Definitely needs higher bars, higher risers. It needs to be swept back a little bit more, but it's still a very cool bike. I really do like these. Seems like there's a lot of parts available for them. And Like I said, Chris, Chris has a lot of Harley parts on this bike too, which is kind of cool. It means that, you know, they can definitely be compatible with each other. <laughs> yeah, dude, <laughs> this thing gets it. Hello! Somebody here? Oh, hello! Look at this little baby deer right here trying to turn around. She almost got it. There you go. Work it! <laughs> Damn, that's oh yeah! Oh yeah! Leaving the Sportsman's Feet Club, always a good time. Met up with some of the members of the club that we had not met before. Everybody was awesome. Everybody was so much fun. So I got to meet a really cool Instagram friend that I hadn't gotten to meet face to face before and she and I have been having some really cool chats but we finally got to hang out today and it was awesome and she is just as cool as she makes herself seem in virtual life which is really rare. You know? <laughs> yeah that's true. You should get her to do the babes ride out ride. Dude! So Monica is actually going to do the babes right out thing and I was debating whether or not I wanted to do it but now that I know for sure I have at least one friend that's gonna do it I'm totally going dude it is June 4th through 6th so if any of you moto babes who are in the New York vicinity Pennsylvania Connecticut Rhode Island whatever they've got a couple of locations and a couple of events that are gonna be happening here in like the spring summer uh, seasons so well, they're doing three. They're doing three big rides. One of them is East Coast, one of them is Central, and one of them is West Coast. And the, the, the East Coast one is leaving from New York. Anybody who is riding up on the east side of the United States can come join this thing. I don't really actually know a whole lot about it. I didn't do a lot of research because I'm not allowed to go. <laughs> it's a babes ride out thing. That makes sense. I mean, you are a little bit of a babe, so... I do know that, you know, it is definitely, they're happening on the East Coast. It's going to be a big, huge thing. And I'm really excited to, to see it happen. I, I would like to go out there, not do the ride necessarily, because that's your ride. But I would like to go out there and, you know, take pictures and do some video and stuff like that. Cut that however you want to. I'm sorry. I, I was really, like, trying to focus on riding there. 
<laughs> and I was also talking, this is hard. How do you do this? Is your choke still on? Oops. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for noticing, because I wasn't. Just want to give a great shout out to Chris over at the Sportsman's Feet Club. Definitely hooked us up, made us feel very, very welcome. Brought us in, allowed us to drink at his bar without even asking for anything. And that just goes to show you that these guys are, they work like a family. They're they are together, they're there in it with each other. He offered to work on a friend's bike and help him to fix it just because the guy didn't know what he was doing. And he realizes that it's not that we're all there to work against each other. We're all there for each other. This is just, we're all a community. We're all there to help. If I know something you don't know, I'm gonna teach you. If you know something that I don't know, you're gonna teach me. And then out of all that, we're gonna grow and we're gonna learn together. Thank you so much everybody for tuning in. My name is Chase, this is the Whiskey Chase channel. We do motorcycle related content here in New York City. Please don't forget to follow Parker at Parker the Coyote on Instagram. We might be able to get her to do some more motovlog related content on her YouTube channel. If you like this sort of content, please subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, please do not forget to leave a like and a comment down below. Woo, that was loud. Thank you so much everybody for tuning in. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.